House will be in order. History will indeed remember this vote. Future generation of Americans will remember who cast their votes to raise taxes on 86 million middle class households and heap another 1.5 trillion in deficits onto our children and to our grandchildren. And those of us who vote against it are doing so not because we oppose tax reform. On the contrary, we recognize, as most Americans do, that this bill is not tax reform. It is a tax giveaway to those who don't need our help, paid for by those who do. Mr. Scalise. You know, there are those on the other side that would say, keep all the money in Washington, stunt economic growth, continue to let America be non-competitive, where we see jobs go overseas over and over again, large companies, thousands of jobs at a time, move into foreign countries because we have the highest corporate tax rate in the industrialized world. In our bill, Mr. Speaker, we cut every single tax rate and make it lower. That's more money in the pockets of hardworking families. On average, families are going to see over $2,000 more back in their paychecks every year. From California. And the next year, when people check their checks and realize they have more money, they're going to remember who voted for status quo and who voted to make the American come back. So don't vote for the status quo. Vote for a tax cut. Vote for reform. Vote for your constituents. Vote for your country. And vote to raise the paychecks of America. A lady from California is recognized for one minute. Outside the Congress, the American people have already made their decision. Polling shows that Americans oppose the GOP tax scam by a margin of two to one. Hardworking families see, the, see right through the brazen con job Republicans are trying to sell them. At the end of this vote, they will stand up and cheer, adding trillions to the national debt in order to give tax breaks to the wealthiest 1% and to big corporations. They'll cheer that. And they'll cheer when they say we can't afford to protect the health of our innocent children. They'll cheer that. And remember, they will cheer when they tell you we can't afford the next step. We can't afford Medicaid, Medicare, and a dignified retirement our seniors spent a lifetime earning. That's, a, that's an applause line for them. The Speaker yeah, of the House is recognized for one We are about to achieve some really big things. Things that the cynics have scoffed at for years, decades even. Ideas that have been worked on for so long to help hardworking Americans who have been left behind for too long. They hear about the economy getting better. They, they turn on the TV and they see the stock market going up. But now we need to make sure that these people in our communities, in our country who are struggling, see their own personal economy getting better. And that's what this is all about. The mission that drives us here today is to restore this beautiful American idea. What is that idea? That the condition of your birth does not determine the outcome of your life. You can work hard, play by the rules, get ahead, and make a better life for yourselves and an even better one for your kids.